In this video, we'll be taking a look at the second golden rule of keyword research, namely traffic. We'll be covering the difference between searches and traffic. We'll also discuss the organic traffic settings in Market Samurai. And finally, we'll look at how to find keywords that have sufficient traffic to be worth targeting. In every niche, there are many different keyword phrases, and every phrase has a value based on how many people use it to access the niche. Some keywords generate high levels of traffic, while other keywords generate low levels of traffic. For example, in the photography niche, more people explore the niche using the keyword digital photography than the keyword digital photography classes. Many people are surprised to learn that in most niches, over 90% of all keywords have insignificant levels of traffic and are not really worth spending a lot of time and effort on. Unfortunately, when a lot of people start their internet business, they target keywords at random and are then disappointed to find that they receive little or no traffic to their website. Using Market Samurai, however, you'll be able to zero in on the minority of keywords in your niche that do have significant levels of traffic. So let's cross over to Market Samurai and take a look at how this works in the real world. In this example, I've created a project based on the term photography. To analyze the keywords I've generated, I just come down here and click the Keyword Analysis button. This can take a few minutes. Now for the sake of this example, I'm going to turn off Market Samurai's default Golden Rules filter to make sure none of my initial keywords are automatically filtered out. To do this, I'll just come up here and select the No Filters option from this drop-down box. In this video, we'll be focusing on the Organic Traffic Data section up here, so I'm going to check this checkbox and uncheck these two checkboxes. As you can see, we now have three columns of data that describe the organic traffic associated with the selection of keywords in the photography niche. The first column is Searches, and this shows the average number of people who search for a particular keyword each day. I can sort my data from high to low by clicking on the column heading Searches. The next column is SEO Traffic, which we abbreviate as SEOT. To understand SEO Traffic, we first need to clarify the difference between searches and traffic. Whenever Google displays a page of results relating to a particular keyword, a high percentage of people will choose to explore the number one ranked website. A smaller percentage of people will choose to explore the number two ranked website, and so on. The average breakdown of these percentages is as follows. The number one ranked website receives 42% of clicks. The number two ranked website receives 12% of clicks. The number three ranked website receives 8% of clicks. The number four ranked website receives 6% of clicks. The number five ranked website receives 5% of clicks. The number six ranked website receives 4% of clicks. And the number seven ranked website receives 3% of clicks. The remaining clicks are shared between all the other sites listed in Google. What this means is that even if you are the number one ranked website in Google for a particular keyword, there is a big difference between the number of people who search for a phrase and the number of people who will actually click through and visit your website. So rather than basing your analysis on search numbers and then being disappointed by the actual traffic you receive, we developed the concept of SEO traffic which gives you an indication of the maximum daily visitors that the number one ranked website in Google could potentially receive from each keyword. In fact, because SEOT is a more accurate estimate of actual traffic, I'll just go up here and hide the total searches column to make things a little easier. The next column we'll look at today is the trends data, which provides a visual representation of the monthly traffic trends for each keyword. To see the trend data, just click on the trend graph. This will open a new window that provides more detailed information relating to the trends associated with your keyword phrase. Here you can see how interest in your search fluctuates over time. This is particularly useful for seasonal keywords such as Halloween. You can also see the specific regions of interest and additional related terms. Okay, let me just close this window and we'll get back to Market Samurai. Now that we've looked at what each of the organic traffic indicators mean, Let's take a look at how to identify keywords that have significant levels of traffic and are worth targeting. The first step is to set a traffic filter. To do this, I just click the plus sign next to SEO traffic and enter a minimum traffic value. At Noble Samurai, we like to use the value 30. This will filter out any keywords that do not have the potential to deliver at least 30 visitors per day to the number one ranked website in Google. Finally, if I click on the SEOT heading, I can sort my keywords by the amount of traffic they can potentially deliver to my website. As you can see, my keywords are now sorted so that the keywords that have the highest traffic potential are now at the top of my list. So just to recap, in this video we took a look at the second golden rule of keyword research, traffic. We clarified the difference between searches and traffic. 
Then we examined each of the organic traffic analysis tools in Market Samurai. And finally, we saw that by setting an SEO traffic filter of 30, you can identify keywords that have the potential to deliver a steady stream of free organic traffic to your website.